So let me guess your Florida dream. It includes beaches, sunshine, boating, golfing, and all kinds of outdoor activities. It also has access to world-class shopping, dining, entertainment, and resort-style living. Well, what if I told you there was one particular place in Florida that offered all of that and more? In fact, it's ranked the number one place to live in Florida and the fifth best in the United States. In today's video, we're exploring beautiful, sunny Sarasota, Florida to find out why it's more than just a typical beach town and why you might want to call this place home. If we're meeting here for the first time, my name is Juan Alcala. I'm a licensed realtor with the True Living Group, and we are on a mission to help you learn everything that there is to know about living in Sarasota, Florida. And if you'd like help moving to the area, all of our contact information is down below. Feel free to reach out at any time. Now let's check out beautiful Sarasota and why so many people are choosing this city. Now let's be real, Sarasota is blessed with some incredibly beautiful beaches that consistently rank amongst the best in the entire country. There's Lido Beach, Crescent Beach, Turtle Beach, Longboat Key Beach, but the one that takes the crown for the beautiful quartz crystal sand is none other than Siesta Key Beach. Now, one of the things that fascinates me about Siesta Key Beach is how cool the sand is to the touch. Even on a hot, hot summer day, talking about 95 degrees, you can step out in that sand. And I don't know if you've visited a whole lot of beaches in the country, but a lot of the times you step out on sand and it's hot, it burns your feet. Well, that doesn't happen here because this incredible quartz sand, it is so cool to the touch, it's fascinating. But one of the things to be aware of is the beach to your car is gonna be a little bit of a hike. The beach is actually really deep. If you're gonna bring a lot of gear, you know, you talk about bringing chairs and an umbrella and some water and things like that, maybe even a cooler, you might want to bring one of those little carts. You can rent them when you get here or purchase one, but it'll make your life a lot less complicated. But this is a great place to come sunbathe, hang out, people watch. You can go find sand dollars down there. There's all kinds of incredible wildlife. The beaches are crystal clear. It's just a great place to hang out. There's no doubt once you arrive here why this beach is ranked one of the best in the United States. Another thing that Sarasota is known for is its rich culture and diversity. According to Niche.com, Sarasota gets an A rating in diversity, but let's talk about the art, the culture, the history. That's really what makes this place so special. Sarasota is a haven for art enthusiasts. The Ringling Museum showcases art, and yes, that's the Ringling Brothers, if that's what you were thinking. Absolutely who that is. And they showcase art that is super impressive, spanning centuries. We're talking about European masterpieces to modern day masterpieces. There's festivals, galleries, and even art classes. Performing arts and a constant stream of live performances, heck, you can even catch the drum circle down on the beach. You've got the Sarasota Opera, the Sarasota Ballet, you can go explore the Sarasota History Museum. And throughout the entire year, there's a full calendar of activities and events that make living in Sarasota an absolute dream. If you look beyond the beaches, there are still a ton of incredible activities that you can take advantage of in Sarasota. I mean, it's a playground for outdoor enthusiasts. You can kayak through the mangroves to see a glimpse of Sarasota's hidden ecosystem. It's full of a variety of birds, fish, manatees, and even the occasional dolphin. Or you can paddleboard through the bay and the waterways. There's an abundance of really cool state parks here, too many to mention. Now you've got some really cool state parks like Mayaka State Park. You can hike the trails, go canoeing, or even see an alligator out sunbathing. Closer to the city, you got Marie Shelby's Botanical Gardens. This is an awesome spot as well. Sarasota also has a really good biking infrastructure like Legacy Trail if you want to go out and take a scenic ride. And if you're into fishing, Sarasota Bay is probably calling your name. You got all kinds of incredible fish out there from snook, redfish, tarpon, and even sharks. The beauty of Sarasota is literally endless. You've got to experience this for yourself because it is anything but boring. And now we're getting into one of my favorite parts about loving where you live, and that is living in a foodie's paradise. Sarasota has a lot to offer. One of my favorite places to go eat is in St. Armand Circle. Now, you don't have to just choose one spot when you go to St. Armand Circle. There are a lot of dining opportunities, but I'm gonna give you three of my personal favorites. You can go eat at the Columbia Restaurant, which is absolutely lights out. Now that is a satellite of the Columbia Restaurant that is in Ybor City in Tampa. So keep that in mind. If you want the original, you can go there. They've got flamenco Minko dancers, the whole thing is unbelievable, but you are not gonna be disappointed at the food here, so go check this out. The second one on my list is the Clam Bar. If you're into 
seafood, this is an excellent restaurant. You've got everything from oysters to the local catch of the day. Go check this place out. Make sure you walk in with a empty stomach because they are going to serve you right. And the third restaurant on this list, which actually is one of the coolest ones I've ever been to is Shore. It's on the second story. There's a little small boutique under there where they have clothing, really, really nice shop to go into. But when you go upstairs, this restaurant offers incredible meals. You have everything from American cuisine to of course, world-class seafood. But one of the most unique features about this restaurant is it actually has a convertible room. So make sure that you get reservations for the evening right at sunset because this place is mind-blowing. You're sitting in there and as long as the weather is not too hot, they start pulling back that roof and you're dining under the stars and what an incredible experience. You're not going to be disappointed if you go check out Shore. And you can find everything here, guys. There's pizza, there's Thai food. If you want it, they have it. There's incredible sweet shops as well for those of you who have that killer sweet tooth that you just never get it satisfied. Incredible incredible, incredible dining experiences. And I only talked about St. Armand Circle. We're talking about an entire city. You can go downtown, everywhere. There's so much great dining here in Sarasota. It will not disappoint. And speaking of downtown, this is one of the reasons why Sarasota is consistently ranked one of the best places in America to live. If you stroll down Main Street, you're going to find friendly people, shops, restaurants, boutiques, historic and modern architecture. That's where the Sarasota Art Museum and the ballet that we spoke about earlier is located. It's extremely walkable. You can just park your car, get out and walk. And again, you can go eat your way, drink your way, shop your way all up and down Main Street. It's awesome. And if you decide to live downtown in a condo, you've got all the modern amenities right there at your fingertips. You've got grocery stores and banks. Everything you need is right there at your fingertips. So this is an incredible place to call home. And obviously, Florida is known for being the sunshine state and Sarasota has an abundance of it as well. Well, with over 255 days of sun on average every single year. It's incredible. Our mild winters, we average temps in the 60s. In the summer, it can get hot, y'all. We are kind of turning into that phase right now where we're hitting the 90s already. In July, August, September, those are by far the hottest months. You know, we're talking mid 90s in terms of temperatures. You know, heat indexes will definitely push 100. I'm sharing it and keeping it real with you guys because a lot of people choose to purchase a second home or a vacation home in Sarasota or they vacation away in the summers if they're able to and they'll go places like you know up north to Michigan or to the Carolinas and experience a little bit more inclement weather if you will. <laughs> I'm sorry a little bit more uh, mild weather in terms of uh, summer because it can get really hot. So I just want to share that with you because one of the things that people say is Florida is a blast furnace and what you will find is you do start to acclimatize. I never shared this earlier but we moved from Detroit Michigan a little over five and a half years ago and the first year we were here my air conditioner was set at 70 degrees every year since then this is our sixth summer now the temperature in the house has creeped up one degree and the reason that happens is because when it's 90 or 95 degrees outside and you come into a 70 degree home, there is a huge swing in temperature there and actually feels really cold. I was making fun of my wife, Kate. We were in downtown Tampa. It was 90 degrees. It was a little bit overcast and Kate had like this crocheted over shirt kind of thing on. And I was just poking fun at her. I was like, it has literally happened. You are now a Floridian officially, right? You're wearing a, a knitted sweater, if you will, outdoors in the middle of the summer just blew my mind. But this is kind of normal when you live in Florida. You do start to get used to those things. Just keep that in mind. But the sunshine is abundant. You will love it here. If you are a sun worshiper, you are not going to be disappointed. The city of Sarasota is not just another beach town. Another reason why it's the best place to live is because of its incredible high quality of living. It thrives on exceptional services, amenities that continue to attract people to the area. It's got top rated public and private schools, which continue to rank at the top of the entire state of Florida. In terms of healthcare, you've got Sarasota Memorial Hospital, which is nationally recognized for its patient care. Sarasota is also a city that prioritizes safety, creating a secure environment for its residents. You've also got world-class golf, great libraries and community centers. It has high quality infrastructure, maintained roads, which is super important to most of us, and even a decent public transportation system. If you throw in the fact that Florida doesn't have a state income tax or an estate tax, it makes Sarasota financially attractive and a place where you can keep more of that hard earned money in your pocket. Now, what you're probably wondering is Juan, what does it cost to live in Sarasota? Now, when it comes to buying a home in Sarasota, this is definitely not gonna be an inexpensive place to pick up a property. 
Over the last three days, the average single family home that sold was a three bedroom, three bath, and it was 2,177 square feet. And in order to make that purchase, you had to have $868,640. Wow. Now that's the average. On the range here, someone was able to pick up a home for $105,000. Now, to be honest, that was probably an off-market deal or a family member transferring one property to another because at the top end of this list, it cost $9.5 million in the last 30 days to pick up a home on the high end. If condo living is more your speed, you could pick one of those up. They average at it two bedrooms, two bath, 1,470 square feet, and on average cost $646,612 at the time of this recording. Now the price range over the last 30 days was as low as $135,000. Again, probably one of those scenarios we just talked about to as high as $11.5 million. Man. Sarasota, you can spend as much as you want when it comes to living in this beautiful area, that's for sure. So as you can see, calling Sarasota home and living in one of the best places in the United States is not going to be inexpensive. However, it is going to be an incredible experience. If you are interested in potentially moving to the area, all of my contact information information is listed down below. There's even a link to my calendar. We make videos that are all things Tampa Bay. If you want to learn more about the area, maybe Sarasota is not right for you. Maybe you're thinking Tampa, maybe you're thinking St. Pete, Clearwater, whatever it is. Just know when it comes to that time, we've got your back. And until next time, and as always, go out and live that Tampa life.